is a quick video to talk about this uh, conveyor belt that I built. It uses a uh, paper for the actual belt itself and everything has been, else has been constructed with uh, fairly thick cardboard, hot glued together. Um, at the base here you can see the Lego motor uh, built around a, uh, a Lego support base which is um, encased in this cardboard. Um, you can't see very well but there's some uh, actual tyres that I use as the rollers for this paper roll that comes along the bottom here. Uh, there's some rollers underneath here which you can see and there's two tyres and uh, that framework is supported inside the cardboard um, casing hot glued together. There's the exit chute and uh, here's the inlet hopper here. You can see where the material comes out and basically it's just thrown down through the top here and, and also here's the ultrasonic sensor sort of clipped on the top here. I'm using a generic sort of uh, Lego to go across here. You can see the paper conveyor belt which I've had to tape a little bit to give it some strength. Um, I've got the program running on here so I'll just start it. My files, uh, software, conveyor belt, uh, run. And you can see it takes off. Uh, basically it'll run for a few seconds and, and then it should stop. Right, so it's actually um, the height thing is uh, triggering me. I'll just move it up a little bit. Right, yeah, so it's very sensitive. I'll have to adjust that. Okay, so the idea is that if I get some material, throw it down here and it'll start and it'll run for a few seconds to clear that conveyor belt. So there's the overall shot. I'm just going to the computer here, I'll just quickly show the code that I used. Um, so we've got the ultrasonic sensor here, uh, speaker saying start and uh, motor control block for block B. I'll just stop that now. Um, if I click on the ultrasonic sensor, go to the bottom, uh, you can see light sensor. Okay, there it is there. And we've got 14 centimetres less than 14 centimetres. And that's all I wanted to show you for today.